Hello and welcome to jobskillshare.org. Sometimes, occasionally, I get an email and calls from premium members that they have done pretty well in the first round of interview and now they have invited them to the technical interview. So how do we use our premium membership lab access to prepare ourselves? Now this is assuming that they already know that they have to work on Active Directory, ticketing system, Office 365. So this is something they have already done uh, either in the live training or the, the courses that we already have in the free courses as well. And uh, basically the first recommendation is that since you have premium membership, you do want to use the, you know, any lab when you open the lab in the, let's say, CompTIA A+, and you have this domain controller right here, uh, you will connect to it and then definitely use the Active Directory access in this domain controller. So let's say if I open it and I open the server manager. So my first recommendation is to go back to the Active Directory course. It's a very powerful course for interviews specifically because a lot of people just, you know, can't get away with this. You have to know the, you know, the Active Directory part because you're resetting users, passwords and everything. So come over here and go to the users and play around with Active Directory create some user reset some passwords because they may pull up active directory and say okay we already know you know about active directory uh, can you create an account for us this is the account name can you just give this and and if somebody is brand new to this of course they're not going to know this when they are so in an, in a place where things are pressured because they have to do things uh, people are watching them and everything. You can't be just playing around here. You need to know this. So that's why technically preparing yourself is going to be like doing this right on these labs by opening it without you getting, uh, you know, buying our servers, that extra one or the one that you have in live training. You don't have that. Or even if you have your own lab servers, then that's the first thing I will tell everybody to work on. Now, the second thing is, you know, a lot of people are going to start testing you inside the operating system. It's very important for them because they're hiring you uh, as a help desk in level one. And most of these companies are moving away from Windows 7, which they already probably did. And now they're looking for someone who knows operating systems. So my next suggestion to you is going to be going down. There's a new course available in uh, the, the Microsoft uh, site. So if you go to Microsoft, you're going to go all the way down. And it's called MD100 Windows 10. So then open that course. And now here, what I would like you to basically go over some of the important pieces in, uh, you know, Windows 10. You know, so many companies, they're going to be asking you, uh, do you know how to migrate uh, you know operating systems or data or backup because like I said people are going to be hiring you either a, a, a company will hire you and you will be doing this for clients or a company will be uh, uh, interested in knowing that do you know how to do these things because they're just moving their staff members to a new Windows 10 machine so it could be two companies one is like a technical company helping other clients right Another company will be just a company, a corporate company, and you're their staff, and they're moving their machines to Windows 10. So in interview, they may be interested in something that they're doing actually in future. So they may want to know that, can you do that kind of stuff? Now, also, uh, you know, using some other, uh, like, uh, things that may take you a little bit more time, because like, let's say WDS, uh, do you know how to uh, use WDS? They may use this term. So you need to know this term then by doing this lab, I'm sure you're going to know this and you have learned this in the live training if you have took that. Now, some of the other things like, you know, managing device devices and printers, administer users and groups, exactly like Active Directory, but it's a local, uh, you know, something like, you know, they may, they may ask you uh, manage user control settings. That's another one. Uh, some of these things like, for example, VPN client part one. Um, because a lot of people think about it, they they have Windows, uh, you know, desktops in the on the offices, and people are going to be using VPN client to connect to these desktops from their home. So get to know this stuff because that that's going to definitely help you. Uh, configure Windows 10 remote administration. You know, try to do this stuff too because they may ask you, can you consider can you configure a remote settings on this machine on Windows 10? So do that, and of course. 
you can go away from backups and restore. So even if you know about just managing the Windows backup and restore, uh, they you don't know to, you know you don't need to know every other backup systems. There are so many out there. But as as long as you can tell them about this one, they know that you know about this and you will learn something else. Now. Configure and analyze Windows event locks is very important because someone can ask you, okay, we just got this error. We, we, where will I find this log for the error? They're not going to say event logs. They think that you know this stuff. So they're going to just tell you, okay, can you open a log for this? So then they expect you to go in to the system and open event logs. So you need to know how to do this right here. Um, again, I think this one and this one is... Uh, two different settings but focus on this one also manage remote access desktop access that's where you could do the RDP stuff like that okay then you want to do troubleshoot common network problems a lot of people will be interested in knowing do you, can you troubleshoot problems so maybe you want to check this lab and also I'll recommend another one too for you if you come over here to all the way to the top in Windows uh, CompTIA section and 221002 is a new lab so if you come over here you see there are some important things you can learn from here too number one click on the boot methods and type of operating system maybe they will ask you do you know how to install a clean operating system do you know how to install it from network so this way you can actually tell them by doing this lab now another one another important one is using Microsoft command line tools if you look at it in this lab you see there's so many different type of commands and that's where things gets uh, technical a lot of people will ask you do you know what IP config does or can you find an IP address for me uh, do you know what NS lookup can do can you do you can you tell me what check disk is uh, can you tell me what task skill is can you tell me what GP update or how would you how would I force that policy on a computer GP update slash force so you see not everything is important over here but IP config ping i mean i don't know if you don't know ping trust me i feel like you should stay back do some more training because this is too basic too basic and too common in interviews especially for entry level because if they ask you you don't know these things they're not going to invest too much time on you this is too basic for you and they're going to say okay this person is totally not ready ip config ping tracer ns lookup check disk task skill gp update gp result that's it. These are the ones that are very, very important for you. Okay. Next is Windows Operating System Tools and Features. So this is the important one right here. Working with Windows Administrative Tools. That's where you learn from Active Directory stuff too, but it's important you should actually go over this one. Uh, implementing System Configuration Settings, Task Manager. Uh, people may just open a task manager and they can say, okay, can you find a, a process in task manager? So they may just say that, right? So you need to know what is task manager and how to get to that process by right-clicking and then going to the task manager and showing them, okay, this is where the process is. They may say, okay, how do I get to a service from task manager? So of course you need to open it and then there's an option inside this right here, it's services. So you see, something that people think that it's too basic for you to to that's something you're gonna know from uh, you know knowing being an IT professional so the managed space is okay you can skip this one if you want to but these first three are important then what you want to do is focus a lot on uh, you know troubleshooting sides of this stuff like you know if you go all the way down so you see right here there's a troubleshoot Microsoft Windows issues and troubleshoot PC security issues and you know maybe you want to try this one too uh, maybe they might throw something like that but that's just going to be too much for them to tell you to, re to remove the virus or something like that they may just ask you things inside of troubleshooting so just for learning purpose and try to be able to say that in the interview do these two uh, right here so I think after this um, like I say these are pretty big labs and you don't want to spend too much time if you don't have time, simply go over the one that I just suggested quickly to, to understand uh, how to do these basic ones. After this, you want to focus on ports because sometimes people may say, okay, I'm using this FTP, what port am I using? Or something like that, they'll just throw something to you, they may create some kind of technical question for you. So you should know uh, different ports inside these labs. 
to learn about ports, I recommend you go to 22902 and then click on TCP services part 1, part 2, part 3. So if you click on it, you see port FTPs 21, SNMP. These are very, very common interview questions. What is a SNMP port? What is a Telnet port? Uh, what is a SMB port? What is a RDP port? Especially this one and this one. These are very common for interviews. Then you want to go to part 2. There are some other things that you should learn, but this don't worry too much. Don't spend too much time because at level one will not be installing DHCP and DNS stuff. Try to understand what this means. What is DHCP? What is DNS? That's it. And part three is again, then you more you go a little bit more advanced with ports also. 443 and again this one. Don't worry about the Kali Linux. People are not going to be asking you this level one. That's security stuff right there. And then even if in Compt at 220, you can actually go down and look for the troubleshooting one. Sometimes even these are these labs are same, but maybe you will find something a little different in the older lab. That doesn't mean that it's too old. Uh, if, if for technical uh, skills, it's never going to be old for you. Till we use seven and ten, uh, these methods are going to be the same. Okay. Then this is enough for Windows operating system inside skills you want to move out to something a little bit different also. They may ask you, do you know what is router? Do you know what is switch? Do you know how to initially configure them? So now, for help this level one, that's a little little advanced, but not for every job. Some jobs may require this. So I recommend, even if you take the older Cisco lab and you click on it, and if you go all the way in the top, you see that there's a initial router configuration, and then there's an initial switch configuration. So there, there are both labs available. Initial switch is the top one. Initial router is this one right here. So if you de do these two, at least it's going to give you some hands-on idea of what is router and what is switch. And that should be enough for you to, uh, you know, for level one to, to get through from that technical question. Now, of course, there, there are a lot more labs. And my recommendation would be to go online and look for more uh, you know about technical questions that people can ask so since you have so much access this is where you have to do a little bit of research on your own to get into these labs if you think there people are uh, you know saying a lot about servers and open a server lab open a security lab open uh, you know Linux if you feel like that's gonna be a question cloud is there too but the one that I shared is with more than enough but again you know uh, of course there are many people that have shared their knowledge so you may want to just go over these things and utilize this access and then play around with it of course you don't want to miss the courses that we have uh, you know taught on, on our platform so if you go to jobsclashare.org and you go to these courses these are super important for you to finish because if you don't finish these you're missing on a lot of interview questions a lot of things that is going to be real world like Active Directory ticketing and Office 365 these are like very much uh, you know like I would say these are the core for you to do your job so a lot of questions are gonna come from these courses so try to finish these courses and also uh, you know if you take our live training of course this is something that we talk about so much and we work with you so maybe if you feel like you're still not ready then consider taking the live training